Hey guys, this is Nitrix. In this tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to create an entire backup of your registry. To do that, we want to create a new text document. We want to name it reg backup dot cmd ok it yes that uh, you want to right click it and edit and in here we're going to fill in our script you want to start off with at echo off this will uh, run the script without displaying anything which isn't really necessary uh, after that we want to see if the folder or the directory that we want to create uh, our registry backup in already exists. If it doesn't exist, we want it to create the directory. We'll do that with the if not exist command. Um, and we want this directory just to keep it simple to be in C on the C drive. So uh, C colon backslash and then reg. And if that directory or folder does not exist, we want to make it with the mkdir make dir make directory command. Um, okay, so if the folder reg doesn't exist on the C drive, it will make the folder on the C drive. Uh, after that, we want to make sure this folder is empty for our backup. So if exist, um, open quotation, c colon backslash reg backslash backup dot reg. Um, we want to delete the old registry key so that we can uh, back up our new one. Um, okay. So just copy and paste that because I'm lazy and that's basically everything you need to, for the preparation of your backup now we want to create the backup which we'll do with uh, regedit um, e for export and our directory and file name so basically this will, because we haven't specified a registry key, it will um, export the entire registry into this file, which we'll save in this folder on the C drive. So very, very simple script, which is complete now. So we'll finish it off with an exit. Uh, just to recap, if the folder C on the C drive called reg, doesn't exist, it will make the directory on the C drive called reg. If we have a file inside this folder called backup, it will delete to that file and regedit will export the entire registry to C drive, reg folder and it will be saved as backup.reg. When that's done, we'll close it up, save it and you can see here when we go into my computer that the folder does not exist yet when we run our script it will create the folder and inside this folder we will have a backup via our entire registry uh, to see what's inside you can right click it and edit and you'll see that it indeed has our complete registry inside uh, you would do this if you want to try out some registry tweaks but you're not 100% sure they're going to work you'll just back up your registry and if something is broken afterwards you can revert back to your old registry just by right clicking it and merging it if a confirmation box does pop up you can just OK it and that's basically it uh, if you run this again it will just um, update the existing one so we can delete everything out save it and you can see the file size is now one kilobyte when we run this it will be back to the full one again so uh, thanks for watching I hope this uh, makes your life a little bit easier um, in the future and 
don't forget to say no to internet censorship. So do your whatever you can to uh, resist SOPA if you're in America and ACTA if you're in Europe. Thanks for watching and take care.